Psalm 16 verse 9 says, Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. Only when we have that hope, we can rest. We can really truly rest in that hope. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good, be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, in honor, giving preference to one another, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope. We see that Paul and Silas are coming to a place called Thessaloniki, coming to a synagogue full of Jewish people, and the Jewish people are holding on to tradition and religion, and yet the Greeks, as we just read, who had no hope and no God at the time, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, found now hope. The Bible says that that hope is not something, it's someone. First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.1 says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God, our Savior and the Lord Jesus Christ, our hope. He is our hope. Interesting. And what is the hope? First Thessalonians chapter 2.19, for what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at His coming? So not just that He is our hope, but His coming to take us is our hope. So not only He is our hope, but His coming to take us is our hope. 